St. Paul owes much of its early prosperity to the railroads. Become familiar with the history of the city and you'll soon come across the name James Jerome Hill, a railroad tycoon who oversaw construction of transcontinental lines James J. Hill was known as the Empire Builder. His lavish 1891 mansion still sits on Summit Avenue and is today a tourist attraction. J.J. Hill funded the construction of our Central Library and across town is another historic Hill site, the Jackson Street Roundhouse. This repair shop for steam locomotives was built by Hill in 1907. It boasts one of the last operating turntables of its kind in the country. But more importantly, inside is a really cool museum. The Minnesota Transportation Museum provides a chance for kids and adults to experience the history of the Twin Cities through railway artifacts, exhibits, and real trains. Eric Johnson is the museum's executive director. The Minnesota Transportation Museum was really developed to gather together a bunch of railroad enthusiasts who wanted to preserve and present transportation history with a railroad focus, uh, to be able to have a home to, to um, do the maintenance on, no better fit than James J. Hill's actual maintenance facility. It's geared towards the young families coming in, looking for something to do, interactive exhibits. We've got video game simulators to 1890s rail cars that they can go inside. Real touch feel approach to um, a museum atmosphere. Museum visitors are able to explore actual train engines and rail cars. So the, the locomotives, we have everything from a Dan Patch Electric, um, which is inside the museum here, is a gas electric uh, locomotive that would have been used in 1913 down in Savage. We've got some steam engines that are 100 years old, a few of those under restoration currently. We have uh, a handful of 1890s rail cars that are um, a combination of coach to business cars. And uh, the 1890s business car is one of our feature ones in the museum here itself, uh, owned by a millionaire at the time. A group of dedicated volunteers keeps the nonprofit organization chugging along. We have uh, hundreds of volunteers at one point or another who have volunteered time to come in, help on restoration projects, even set up decorations for holiday events. They just love coming in and being a part of this organization, being a part of history, being part of a museum. Again, it's all really about what their passion is, and a lot of them are really passionate about railroading history. Behind the roundhouse, you'll find more engines and cars to check out along with a handful of vintage buses that are also part of the collection. You can get an up-close look at that turntable, and there is a stretch of track where you can take a short caboose ride, and even ride up front in the engine. Along with their location at St. Paul's Jackson Street Roundhouse, the Minnesota Transportation Museum also offers train rides in the picturesque St. Croix Valley and vintage bus tours here in town. Check out their website for more details. What we provide here at the Minnesota Transportation Museum is an opportunity for young children to come in and actually experience something that is not of their generation. So we have Tom's the train tables to entice them to come in, they can play with those, but then give them the opportunity to go explore some of these old relics, a hundred year old steam engine, and actually climb inside of some of these cars. We want these younger generations to be able to experience that and learn about transportation history in a very hands-on approach feel to it. Yeah.